Joe Jury. And in the men's game, Britain's Andy Murray is also through to the semi-finals. Uh, you can hear more about both of Britain's semi-finalists in sport in just a few minutes' time. Now, the government is facing renewed pressure over Google's tax deal in the UK, which will see the American multinational pay £130 million in back taxes for the past 10 years. European MEPs are calling it a very bad deal and want the Chancellor to answer questions about it. There are reports that Italy is poised to secure a back payment equivalent to 15% of the company's revenues in the country. Well, the Director General of Business Tax at HMRC, Jim Harrah, said that calculations suggesting Google paid too little tax were incorrect. Government commentators have uh, started with the sales that Google make to customers in the UK. They have applied then Google's global profit rate to that to arrive at a profit from those sales. And they've compared that with the amount of tax that Google say they've paid and have come out with a, a low effective tax rate. Uh, the starting point for that is incorrect in law because corporation tax is not charged on the profits from sales to customers in the country. It's charged on the profits that arise from activities that the business carries out in the country and assets it has in the country. So the legal base is quite different from that base. I'm satisfied that we had a thorough investigation and that we've turned over everything that we need to turn over to get to the bottom of this case. From HMRC, let's cross now to Westminster and join our chief political uh, correspondent, Vicky Young. Morning to you, Vicky. Uh, yesterday, Downing Street said that the uh, deal on Google's tax was agreed on an operational basis by HMRC and that no ministers had anything to do with the deal. If they were trying to distance themselves from it, well, it's not really working, is it? No, that's right. And Labour are really trying to ramp up the pressure, particularly on David Cameron and George Osborne, asking them about meetings that they've had with representatives from Google. How much did they know about all of this? Is it really the case that HMRC, the tax authority, did all of this work? The problem with this, of course, is that it's not transparent. It's a tax affair, so therefore very little of it moves into the public domain. But we do know that the Treasury Select Committee is going to start looking at UK corporation tax. They're going to start an investigation into all of this. The, one of the Labour members of that committee, John Mann, joins me now. Um, some would say, well, they have got Google to pay something, £130 million, pounds, maybe not to be sniffed at. Uh, well, not even a peanut in terms of what Google's been earning. And of course, the taxpayer is paying for the infrastructure, broadband, that Google makes its profits out of. So the taxpayer pays vast amounts of money for the infrastructure, and Google doesn't pay its fair share of profits, even vaguely its fair share. Some would say this isn't Google's problem. Yeah, they're taking advantage of a UK tax system, uh, which is allowing them to get away with this. It's a loophole. They're not ev uh, evading tax, they're avoiding tax, but they're not doing anything illegal. I've seen no evidence that Google's doing anything illegal, and therefore the tax system we have isn't good enough. And the approach of the Treasury, George Osborne, and HMRC isn't effective, isn't working. They don't have the expertise, they don't have the people there, the skills, they're not putting the resource into identifying what the tax take should be and they're allowing companies like Google almost a free ride in paying tax. This is a minimal amount of tax, not anything appropriate to what a company Google size should be paying the level of activity they've got in this country. But ministers would say they have brought in uh, new measures, the diverted profits tax, for example, which does allow them to investigate these companies and get some money off. Labour didn't do anything like this. Well, the, the, Google's a relatively new company. It's expanded dramatically. Most of its money seems to be in a UK dependency in Bermuda, who rely on our army that we pay for, British taxpayers, to defend Bermuda. So everywhere that Google goes, we seem to be looking after them as the British taxpayer. They're not paying a fair rate. Therefore, George Osborne, he's been there for six years. He's made big claims, big promises. He hasn't delivered. Indeed, he sneaked out this deal while he was in Davos, didn't even have the bottle to come and answer questions himself on Parliament in it, causing up to Google with these 25 meetings ministers have had they see Google as their close friends and allies, not as people who should be paying proper British tax. Okay. 
John Mann, thank you very much indeed. Now, George Osborne did actually hail this deal as a major success, words that haven't been repeated so far by ministers. We'll see today whether the leader of Labour, Jeremy Corbyn, decides to tackle the Prime Minister over all of this. OK, Vicky, thank you very much. Vicky Young, and yes, Prime Minister's questions coming up uh, a little later for you, around 12 o'clock, of course. Now, the headlines on BBC News, and the time is 17 minutes past 11.